Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today it's gonna be a little bit of, of a different thing. It's gonna be my first unboxing video. So I got fairy loot. So basically I think I I got too curious about what I can get from fairy loot. I mean, we all know what fairy loot is. Basically it's a subscription box where you can get books and various themed items. So yeah, I'm excited to open this. I've had it delivered like, I think it came four days ago, but since it came just before Halloween, I couldn't open it because I wasn't in the house most of the time. I was just, you know, hanging out with friends and family. I really don't know what to say. This is my first unboxing video, so bear with me. Just give me a second to open the tape. And all right, so let's see. That's all that's, oh, that's a beautiful box. But yeah, that's the box that you get. And I honestly feel like I don't know what's in here. I mean, I've seen other people do unboxing videos of it, so I kind of get the concept, but this is my time to do it, and I really don't know what's in it. So you have this card. Uh, so to do, this month's theme is Sell Your Soul. Uh, basically the spoiler card, really, really nice art. So I personally don't know what's in it. I didn't guess. I was like, I, as soon as I ordered it, forgot it. So first we have socks. Oh yes, I love socks. So, uh, raven socks. So the raven socks are, I think you can get it from here. Um, so it's from the series Raven, the Raven Cycle. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm excited, I love socks. I am obsessed with like theme socks. So every time I go to work, I like prefer socks that have prints on them because it just looks cute. Oh, that is so cute. And they're quite tall as well, like long here. And I like that because it's gonna be cold at work soon. So I need really nice socks. But yeah, there you go, socks. And then next we have, <gasps> this is interesting. What is this? This is like a bag thing where you can put books in it. <gasps> yes, oh, I always wanted one of those. Like you can put your TBR and put them on display somewhere. Oh, that is so nice. And it's uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart themed. Yes. Just need to kind of stretch it out first. There you go. Heroes don't get happy endings, they give them to other people. Oh, it's the same at the back and the front. And it's so cute. Oh, so I'm happy with that. That is very useful. I have my little, like, I'm gonna probably put like my TBR books here. And then next we have Princess of Souls. Oh, so you get two books. Oh, I completely forgot about that. So technically, you know, you basically get two books in this box for October. Princess of, so Princess of Souls by Alexandra Cristo. Uh, I don't know anything about this book, but you can see the sprayed edges, it's orange. There are many who believe they can cheat death when they when they fail. I take their souls, every single one. Oh, wait a minute. Did she write To Kill a Kingdom? Oh, okay. So it's the same author as To Kill a Kingdom. I haven't read that yet. I tried to, but I wasn't, I wasn't in the right mindset. So I don't know how sh her writing style is gonna fit me but if you want I can, I'll read the back for you guys so Celestra is heir to a powerful magic locked away in a tower by a cruel king her destiny is to foretell death and harvest doomed souls to feed his immortality Nox is a soldier who has spent years plotting vengeance on the crown now he's determined to steal the king's immortality kill the entirety of his court starting with Celestra oh okay so it's basically kind of the same so not kind of the same, but the thing is, uh, To Kill a Kingdom, I think it's in both of their perspectives. So the main character, there's two main characters, there's the Siren, and then there's the Sea Monster Killer or something like that, Hunter. And it's basically kind of both of their perspectives. The, the stories kind of, we swap between their perspectives and I think it's the same here. So yeah, oh, I love the Ouroboros though. Like that is so cool. I don't know what the actual cover looks like, but I like the sprayed edges. And yep, that is gonna go here. This is not gonna be my TBR, but oh, I can just imagine this. Oh, maybe happy about that. And then, oh, next you get, I think you get some other things. Like, don't you get tarot cards or something? Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. So you got two tarot cards. Uh, we got the Judgment and Temperance. Ooh, Sagittarius. The Tarot cards features Rowan as the Judgment and C Citra 
as Temperance Guard. The characters are from Arc of the Scythe, Arc of a Scythe series by Neil Schusterman. Illustrated by the amazing, I can't, like, that's a username there. But, uh, yeah, that is so cool. I actually have tarot cards up in my bedroom right now. Like, I collect, I used to collect, collect them, but I started collecting books. They're so pretty. I can't stop looking at them, actually. They're quite huge, like, pretty huge decks. So, yeah, that's that, and... <gasps> That was unexpected. How's Moving Hassle? Oh, my partner's gonna love this. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but me and my partner kind of bonded over a house moving castle. That's why that's how we kind of connected. We were we were casually dating and then we connected really well with House Moving Castle. Oh, it has foiling as well. Oh, that is such a pretty art. I don't know if you can oh beauty blogger. I don't know if you can actually really see the detail, but it's foiled as well. Aww. Oh, that is so cute. Aww. So it's by Grace's. So I'll just show you the username. So basically that's, that's the username for, well, I'll show you the back of the spoiler card as well. So we have the little bag. I actually don't know what it is. Like, let's start with the thingies inside first we have the fairy scoop and then we have the art Ooh, that's they're gorgeous very eurocentric but you know still gorgeous so that's i think this is like the letter from the author rachel who's rachel that's pretty that's pretty oh a dark window by rachel gillig i've never read this. i've never i'm not aware of this like that's the proper sentence for that i've never heard of this before so let's dive in i was born with the fever my blood dark as night an ancient mercurial spirit is trapped inside elspeth that's a name El elspeth whoo El elspeth spindle's head she calls him the nightmare he protects her he keeps her secrets but nothing comes for free especially magic when Elspeth meets the mysterious highwayman on the forest road, she is thrust into a world of shadow and deception. Together, they embark on a dangerous quest to cure the town of Blunder from the dark magic inflicting it. Blunder with a capital B. As the stakes heightened and their undeniable attraction intensifies, Elspeth is forced to face... Is it really Elspeth? I, I'm really getting annoyed with that. Uh, is forced to face her darkest secret darkest secret yet yeah, the nightmare is slowly darkly taking over her mind and she might not be able to stop him is it like enemies to lovers or is it just like slow burn romance Ooh. that is pretty that is pretty i'll show you guys the end pages first here you go i don't know if you guys can actually see it because it's it is quite dark like even in my eyes like it's quite like it was, if it's a picture, it was taken in the dark. And then the other side. Hope you can see it. Ooh, there are other characters. I like her, she looks cute. Little pixie haircut. And that is, ooh, it's like a printed out um, hardcover, hardback. And we have, The dust jacket art at the back. It is quite dark though, so I'm really sorry if you can't catch any of the details, more of what it looks like inside. And there you go. So can this be like a reversible um, dust jacket then? Yeah, it does look like it. It's really pretty and I'm kind of interested in what, what this story is about. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is my first unboxing video. So wait, a little bit of disclaimer. I actually don't, uh, I, I paid this with my own money. Paid this with my own money because I really wanted all the stuff. I was getting envious and you know, I really wanted uh, really cute trinkets and stuff from that's um, YA themed and you know, fan, like a 
theme from books that I really like. But yeah, uh, shall we read the fairy scoop? So next month's theme is the witching hour. The moon is full, the sky is dark, and the world is yours to completely rewrite. This box is dedicated to the witches that take magic into their own hands and use it to alter their destiny. In this box, you can expect items inspired by Kingdom of the Wicked, Serpent and Dove, and there will be two witchy fandom neutral items. All right, that sounds amazing. I really enjoyed unboxing this. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed watching me be surprised. My favorite thing, my favorite item, I believe, is of course this little, uh, what do you call it? Canvas basket that has Once Upon a Broken Heart on it. I kind of want to straighten it out first. But yeah, I, I'm really excited of this. I love the socks because I'll need the socks. And of course, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Really nice. All right, that is my unboxing. Hope you guys enjoy and um, I'll see you again next time. It's been an amazing week or not for reading. I mean, no pressure on reading, isn't it? It's my channel, so I'm gonna read as much as I want or as less as I want, but the goal is reading. Uh, I'm still on that book, um, These Hollow Vows. I'm taking it slow just because there's so many things that's happened for, that good things that happened for, you know, Halloween and stuff and I'm just gonna enjoy my life. So I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for the subscribers that have stuck around and the new subscribers. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you made it to the end of this video, please give a like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you again next time. Bye.